Hello, I'm George Ann Eubanks, the writer of the Literary Trails of North Carolina guidebook series. A sad tale but true is that writers who were female maybe had a harder time getting published. We have evidence of this in the pen names of so many women in North Carolina who used names that were not specific to a gender in order to get their work more widely uh, published. Olive Tilford Dargan appears in the Mountain Literary Trails, and she comes again in Gastonia as one of the novelists who wrote about the strike there in 1929. But the name she used for her writing was Fielding Burke. There was also another writer, Frances Fisher Tiernan, who lived in Salisbury, and she wrote over 40 romance novels and also some guidebooks about Western North Carolina. But she used the name Christian Reed. So some years later, along comes Robinson Barnwell, a writer who published two novels for children. Robinson Barnwell lived in Burlington. She published those novels in the 60s, and nobody knew until she wrote a third novel in 2005 at the age of 90, and she finally used her real name, Dot Barnwell. Thank you.